Hey guys, it's Robert. Um, I just wanted to do a simple video today because I am doing a lot of other stuff tonight. Um, I don't really have a lot of time to record, I don't think, depending on how quick I can get the other stuff done. So I'm doing a really quick video. Excuse my fridge in the background, it sounds like Darth Vader. Uh, you may notice this sound is different than my typical videos. I don't have my binaural mic set up, it's just the camera. Figured I'd kick it old school today. So, um, I'm here, and I'm actually on my own tonight. So, it's like 4.30, it's about time for happy hour. So I thought I would make myself a little snack, and get to do a little bit of writing and working on some, finishing up my last custom orders and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I want to show you one thing that I do to make a snack for myself when I get the chance. Now, typically I have um, meat in the fridge, like charcuterie, salami, things like that. Um, but I don't today, and it's annoying, but I don't feel like going to the store. So I'm going to do without it. And I'm going to make a little cheese plate thingamajig. So let me go grab myself a glass of wine, and we'll get started. Glass, where'd that bottle go? All right, I'm not gonna edit this one a lot either, so you'll hear me walking around and stuff. Today I'm drinking Trader Joe's Petite Syrah. Pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's a solid petite sirot. It's 2013. In uh, where are they from? San Martin, California. I do enjoy my California wine. Okay, so I'm gonna do a cheese plate with some other stuff on it. So first thing I got here is a little apple. So funny, the first thing I thought cutting this apple was, oh god, I'm on the internet, someone's gonna tell me that I cut it wrong or that I'm wasting apple or something like that. <laughs> this isn't gonna be the fanciest thing, because this is just for me. Though I might give Olive a little piece of the white part of the apple, because she likes that. Alright, so, got our apple station over there. Now for some cheese. I have uh, two different types of cheese today. This is a um, mix of cheddar and gruyere. And this is like a double brie. It's super creamy. And this is really, literally, like one of my favorite meals in the world. Just a big cheese plate, whatever you can fit into it. And like I said, ideally I'd like to have some, some charcuterie, some salami, some, some prosciutto, and things like that. But I don't have any right now, so I will make do. Saturday. I can be a fatty. I don't care. There we go. So this cheese is, like I said, it's um, a combination of cheddar and gruyere. It's um, 
you get like a hint of like the sharp cheddar and it has that kind of bite. But it's not quite as overwhelming. It's like an extra sharp cheddar. The Gruyere really kind of rounds it out and makes it a little bit creamier. It's a really solid cheese. It's really good on like sandwiches and stuff. Let's get this over here. Let me get some of this pre. I hope that you guys are having a good weekend so far. It's beautiful out today. I took a chance to go to the coffee shop this morning with the dog. We sat outside. And I got some work done. There's a really cool coffee shop right across the street from uh, my place. And it, um, it's like outdoor, but there's covered seating. This is my neighbor. <laughs> and um, it's just a really great place to chill out on a weekend because um, it's right next to some hiking trails. And so it's fun to watch people like ants going up the hill all day. Though today somebody um, must have gotten hurt because there was a, like a fire truck and an ambulance, another fire truck and a helicopter. So unfortunately I think somebody's uh, hurting. Alright, check this out. You see that? This is... Trader Joe's Organic Raw Honey. It is so good. It's not like as liquidy as regular honey. It's real good though. It's gonna get a little, little bit and just plop it right with the brie. It's so good. It's like more molasses-y than regular honey. Less like punch you in the face sweet. It's got a little bit more of a gritty texture too. So I'm gonna a little handful of dried apricots. And then got some mixed nuts for fresh and easy, so Put some of these on here. I can get the bag open. I think the last thing that I will put on this one is some of these pita pie crackers. These things are so good. They're from Trader Joe's as well. They're delicious. They're salty and crunchy and everything you would want in a cracker. Boom. There we go. I think I am good shape now, so. All I need is my knife and my wine, and I'm good. I have a little uh, bite of this brie here with a little bit of honey. So good. Alright, well, I'm going to take my little cutting board and go sit down and have myself a nice little happy hour meal. So, have a good weekend, guys. I'll see you later.